Hello, my name is Robin and I'm the Production Coordinator at Ritter's Communications in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The purpose of this video is to offer an overview of the three main types of color profiles that are relevant to how printed pieces are designed and produced. These profiles are RGB, CMYK, and spot color. First, let's talk about, in contrast, RGB with CMYK. Both are acronyms for the primary colors that are used in each profile. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Both of these methods use their respective primary colors to create the effect of a full spectrum of color. So the term full color is often used to describe both formats. The simplest way to explain the difference between RGB and CMYK is that RGB creates full color using light, whereas CMYK uses physical pigments, or inks. As RGB creates full color by using combinations of red, blue, and green light, it is the profile that is used when designing a website or any other document that will only be viewed on a computer screen, because computer monitors transmit light directly to our eyes. In contrast, printed material is obviously not emitting or transmitting light directly to our eyes. This applies, in fact, to any object that we're looking at, unless it actually is the source of light, like a computer monitor. We are actually seeing things in their colors because they are reflecting the white light that is available in the room. So the color profile of CMYK is the color profile used to create the appearance of full color on a printed piece. If you have a document that was created in uh, RGB on a computer, it will have to be converted to CMYK to be used as the file to produce a printed piece. Since a degree of color shift usually occurs during such a conversion, proper proof approval is important after the file is converted. CMYK is also referred to as four color process, or sometimes abbreviated to just process, or as mentioned before, full color printing. On estimate forms from uh, printers, you will often see it written as 4C or 4CP. The four ink colors of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black are used in a myriad of combinations to create the visual illusion of millions of colors. Full color photos and artwork in a document are reproduced by separating them into the four process colors and converting them into a complex array of dots. This is also commonly known as screening or halftoning. The visual illusion of a full color spectrum is achieved when the dots of the four process ink colors combine and overlap. So a piece that is printed in process colors actually only has the four basic colors of ink physically on the page, but to our eyes it appears to be in full color. If you look at an image that is printed in CMYK with a strong magnifying glass or a loop, you can see the C, the M, Y, and K dots in it, but to the unaided eye it will appear to be in full color. So now let's discuss spot color. In this color profile, there's no visual trickery or dot combinations involved. The color that appears on the printed page is actually the color of the ink itself. This method still remains the best way to select and reproduce a highly accurate individual color. In this country, almost all printers use what is known as the Pantone Matching System, or PMS, as the standard for specifying particular ink colors. In the Pantone Matching System, each color in the system is assigned a specific unique number. Clients, designers, artists, and printers who use the PMS system can therefore all speak the same language when specifying a particular color. For example, if a designer in California says she wants her logo printed in, say, PMS 355, she doesn't have to provide a sample to the printer who might be in Florida because both of us are using the same system and have what are known as PMS swatch books to show us the color and mixing formulas to dictate how to create the particular ink color. The many colors in the Pantone system are created by mixing from about a dozen or so uh, available basic colors, much in the same fashion that different paint colors are mixed at a Home Depot. Everyone using the Pantone system has the same mix formulas for all of the colors represented in the system. Again, a printed piece that is printed in a spot color, or a PMS color, actually has that specific color of ink physically prepared or mixed and printed on the page. It is possible, however, to specify a particular PMS color within your design, but to have it converted to a build of CMYK, thus printing it in four color process. Some PMS colors translate more accurately than others when converted to process, depending on their shade, hue, and color density. If a spot color element is converted and included as part of a full color design, expect to see a bit of a color shift on the printed job. Make sure, once again, that you see accurate proofs on your job prior to printing to assure that the degree of this shift is acceptable to you. 
In summary, RGB is a method that uses red, green, and blue light to create a full spectrum of color. Because it uses light, it is the profile that is used when creating documents like a web page that will be viewed only on a computer. CMYK is a method of using four colors of ink, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, in a complex array of screened dots to create the appearance of millions of colors on a printed piece. Four color process images are printed using four plates, one for each color, and only the four ink colors of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, but gives the appearance of full color on the printed page. And finally, spot color preparation uses one plate for each of the specific colors desired. The ink colors are selected and prepared or mixed based on using formulas specified in the Pantone Matching System or PMS. The ink that is prepared and put in the press is the actual color that you see on the finished piece. Deciding if your printed project should be printed using CMYK or a PMS color or colors or a combination of both profiles depends on the color demands of your specific project and your available budget. Your print professional can evaluate your needs and explain the advantages and the limitations of both profiles as they apply to your unique project. For more information or for help with all of your printing and communication needs, feel free to visit Ritter's Communications online, by phone, uh, on Facebook, or on YouTube. Thanks again for joining us.